Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So in today's video, I did want to give you guys a first impressions, a demo, a review, and all of that of the new Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And just showing you guys how it works on acne prone skin, if it works on acne prone skin, if it works on textured skin. As you guys can see, I have it all. I have dark spots, I have hyperpigmentation. And also, I'm on my period, so Mother Nature pulled up and said, I'm just going to make it very evident on her face that I'm here so I do have some breakouts as well but it's okay because I feel like this will give us a true review of the true performance of the powder foundation so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it so your girl went to Sephora early this morning and I was able to get two shades in the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundations. I got the shades 410, which is basically my normal shade in Fenty Pro Filter Foundations and Concealers. And I also got the shade 420 just in case. So this is the packaging of the box. It's just the same Fenty Beauty signature packaging. So just looking at the packaging of the actual product, it is very luxe. So once you open it, there is a mirror as well as a product. And then there's like a second layer, which has a another mirror the mirror underneath i feel like has more of like a zoomed effect and then it also comes with like a little powder puff so that you can touch up on the gold but i really love the packaging it's very luxe it matches the price of the product so i am here for that but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna beat the face and we're gonna see how this powder foundation truly performs. So this video isn't gonna be like a full face video. I really wanna focus on the foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off moisturizing my lips. I'm using my Fresh Beauty Sugar Lip Balm. My lips were dry through my whole intro. I was like, <laughs> but this lip balm is bae. Then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Primer and I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. I need to clip my hair back. Okay, much better. Okay, so face is primed. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 410 and I'm just gonna go in and cover all of my dark spots. So after I apply that concealer, I like to let it sit for about five minutes just so we can get as much coverage as possible. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to prep my brows using my Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. If y'all know me, if y'all watch my videos, then y'all know how I feel about this brow wax stick. So I like it because I've been really loving the fluffier eyebrow look. So I'm just gonna go in and do 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 get them brows right get them brows full i don't have much of a brow so i do feel like this does help your girl out okay if you ain't got no brows this is a trick for you get that brow wax stick from fenty beauty put the got to be down put the elmer's glue down put the lash glue down none of that i don't think should be on your brow okay use a product that's actually formulated to be on the brows boom y'all see that do y'all see that do y'all see that do you see it okay okay let me go with my sponge i'll be right back okay sponge is nice and damp this is the elf total face sponge i believe i've been loving this sponge i mentioned it in some of my vlogs but i'm just gonna go in and blend that concealer. And if I notice that there's any spots that are still peeking through, I'll go ahead and I'll give it a second layer. So face is nice and concealed. Dark spots who? Hyperpigmentation where? Oh, I. Right. So now it is time for the start of the show, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I'm going to start with the shade 410. And I did get 420 just in case 410 is a little too light, we'll see. But I did read in reviews that if you want the powder foundation to be full coverage, you should use a dense brush. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 
M439 brush, which is a super cute, super thick brush. And I'm gonna apply the powder foundation right on top of my concealer. So I'm just gonna press in to get product. And I'm going to, oh, do y'all see that? This little patch here? I'm gonna press it in. And I'm gonna do one side of my face so you guys can see the difference. Okay, I was not expecting that at all. So this is with it, and this is with them. Oh, okay. I see the coverage. I don't know if you guys are able to see that some spots were still peeking through before applying the foundation, but I'm gonna bring it down my neck too. So this is the side of my face with the powder foundation. And this is the side of my face without the powder foundation. I think that the 410 is a good color match. I think it's spot on and I think it's similar to the foundation, I mean the concealer 410. So it's literally just like setting my concealer and adding a little bit more coverage. So here for that. So I went ahead and applied like a first layer of the powder foundation all over. So this is how it looks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do like a second layer to see how buildable it is. Because I do still want more of like a full coverage effect, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. Oh my God. Like, it's crazy how much this looks like skin. Like, the finish is perfect as well because I'm used to like a dewy, luminous finish. I don't really use like mattifying foundations, if that makes sense. Y'all know I'm used to my Lancome Tinty Doll and my Fancy Beauty Hydrating Foundation. I like it. I think that this is a good enough coverage for me, for my liking. Okay, so I put the brightness up a little bit so you guys can actually see because I felt like when it was a little darker, it was kind of harder to see. But this is how it's looking. As far as texture, like you guys see, I have some breakouts here and here. But I feel like it didn't like emphasize the breakouts more, if that makes sense. Because when you have breakouts, you want to put the least amount of product on top of it so that it's not like boom out there. You know what I'm saying? When you have breakouts, when you have texture on your skin, it's just best to put like the least amount of product because when you try to make it more cakey, it just makes it more apparent. Like you got a pimple there, you got texture there. And I feel like with this foundation, it didn't really accentuate it much. So I'm here for that as well because Okay, so now that we're done with foundation, I'm gonna go back in with my concealer in the shade 410 And this is a little trick that I've been liking to do lately something different I've been liking to put the darker shade 410 on the outskirts And the in skirts of the is in skirts a word of the areas that I'm highlighting so here 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 and then my nose, the top, the bottom. And then I like to take my lighter shade, which is 390, and put it like in the middle of the areas that I highlight. I feel like that gives me more of the dimension that I'm going for in my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a few. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna work on my brows and then I'll be back. Okay, so brows are done and concealed. So now I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just blend the concealer out on top of the powder foundation. So I'm very interested to see, no. Actually, I'm not gonna use the sponge. 
I'm going to use this Real, Real Techniques buffing brush because I just felt like the sponge would kind of like wipe the powder away. I don't know if it's just me. So I'm going to use this sponge to blend out my concealer. I mean this brush to blend out the concealer. I wish I had a brush that had more of like a flat edge if that makes sense. But I don't. So this is going to have to do you. That worked really well. This is my first time in a while blending out my concealer using a brush versus a sponge. So look at us trying new things. I'm here for it. Even before 2021, we try new things. Okay. Mm, this might be my new thing, honey. This concealer blended very well on top of the foundation. I'm honestly impressed. Like it still looks like skin, but you can still see like the dimension from the highlighted areas. So I'm here for it. Okay, Fenty Beauty, I'm here for it. So yes, we have a matte finish, but we still have a slight glow. So I'm here for it. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to set that concealer and I'm going to use the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Kunafa. And I'm actually gonna use a sponge for this because I just like to pack on my powder. This is the best setting powder that I have tried. If you guys have any suggestions for other setting powders, comments and let me know besides Laura Mercier because we all know Laura is that girl but I've been trying to venture off and try different setting powders so comment with any suggestions that y'all have besides Laura Ooh. Ooh. do y'all see this hold on hold on hold on do y'all see this material material girls okay face is still loading it's still pending but it's looking very good oh my god i'm so excited i was not expecting this at all i'm just like i don't know what to expect i never used a powder foundation before i always wanted to try one but i y'all know how i am with foundations if y'all are used to my channel but i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera and then i'll be back Okay, so this is my final look. I went ahead and finished the rest of my face off camera. And this lippy is actually Fenty Glow, one of Fenty Beauty's new gloss balm creams. So, y'all know I had to throw that in there. And these earrings I have from Forever 21 from years ago. So, yeah, and then my little, my little fro, my little fro, how was it looking? Comment down below and let me know. But the only other complexion thing that I did was I set my face using my MAC Fix Plus setting spray. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know this is my holy girl setting spray. So I'm interested to see how it's going to hold up with like a matte foundation. So we'll definitely get to see that because I am going to give you guys a wear test. So it's currently 3.56 p.m. And I think I'm going to keep this foundation on until maybe like 8, 9 p.m. And then that's when it's time to go to bed. So I'm going to have to go ahead and take it off. But I did want to go through and tell you guys some claims of the product just so that we're aware of them before we actually do like the wear test the product claims to be a light as air powder foundation that gives you a light to full coverage with a soft matte finish i can completely vouch for that i didn't really feel anything when i was applying the foundation to my face so spot on there the coverage is described as medium hmm. i would kind of say that because as you guys saw i had to keep putting layers on it to cover the dark spots that i have that were peeking through so i do agree that it is a medium coverage the finish is matte yes it is the formulation is pressed powder yes it is ingredient call outs it's free of parabens and patholates i still don't know how to pronounce that word it's also vegan cruelty free and gluten free and what else you need to know this powder delivers a non-cakey blurred finish with no flashback the buildable light to full coverage formula loves to be layered without settling into fine lines or clogging the look of pores. It's also sweat, humidity, and crease resistant. Plus, it has a chic portable compact. So, 
we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna take a picture with flash at the end to see what the flashback t is giving we're gonna see how much creasing we see or we don't see so i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to do whatever i have to do around the house and then i'll be back with you guys at 8 9 p.m so that we can conclude this video and i can give you guys my final thoughts and opinions hey guys so i'm back it's currently 9 7 p.m so i've had this face on for five hours and this is how my face looks i haven't blotted i haven't done anything so this is my face so honestly i feel like it looks good given that i have been in my house like sweating for the most part i don't wear makeup for more than five to six hours so i feel like this would be a typical like you know result of me wearing makeup for a day but she could use some blotting she could use some blotting so here's what we're gonna do right we're going to oh i want to do my flash test first so let me do that first and then we'll come back and blot okay so i just did my flash test let's go ahead and see i turned all the lights off in my room and took some selfies with the front flash on my iphone i put them on the screen here so you guys can see yeah the so skin is looking good my forehead is super oily because of my hair but skin is looking good. No flashback. So if that claim, spot on. Not me serving face in the dark. But yes, we can see that the flashback free claim. Very true. No flashback. What is that? Who is she? She ain't here. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the same brush that I initially used to apply the foundation and i'm gonna go ahead and take the star of the show the soft matte powder foundation and i'm just gonna blot the oily areas because this is basically what you would do like you know when you're out and you just need to touch up so it's just a little practice a little demo of that as well yeah look at my forehead super oily my nose super oily okay so this is my face after i like blotted and touched up so some areas i feel like i would still need a blotting sheet for like my brows i'm not gonna put powder over my brows so i would use like a blotting sheet for that and the blotting sheets that i love are the elf blotting sheets because they two dollars and they get the job done nice quick and easy but um everywhere else i would use a powder so under my eyes forehead bridge of my nose so this is what my face looks like after i touched up with the powder i can definitely see myself carrying this out for the day because your girl be getting oily real quick and i just always like to have things on hand just in case you know things start moving things start shifting and all of that so uh, that is basically my demo of the fenty beauty soft matte powder foundation first impressions and all of that now i just want to give you guys my concluding thoughts so i'm just going to go back and i'm going to pull up the claims of the foundation that we went through in the earlier clip so overall i really enjoy this foundation i can definitely see this being in my regular rotation of foundations that i use you guys know that i love my lancome and i love my fancy hydrating foundation but huge emphasis on the butt i'm gonna have to see if i get any breakouts from this foundation so unfortunately it's too soon for me to determine that so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to keep wearing the foundation keep trying it out and in one of my weekly vlogs or one of my chit chat get ready with me i'll be updating you guys letting you guys know how i feel about it is it breaking me out x y and z so if you guys keep up with my vlogs which y'all should make sure y'all if y'all made it this far and y'all not subscribed to my channel yet then what's tea like what's really tea subscribe to my channel join the family we on the road to 8k i give y'all vlogs i give y'all chit chat get ready with me's using beauty products so i'll definitely give you guys an update as far as like you know if it makes you break out because i do have acne prone skin i have very sensitive skin which is another reason why i'm very selective with the foundations that i do use so back to the claims of the product it said it would be non-cakey can check that off blurred finish with no flashback we didn't see any flashback who is she what is her she ain't where the money resides so she ain't here she's not here it is buildable it is light to full coverage settling into fine lines i could definitely say that because um the thing with non-creasing claims of products is that if you have creases in your face the product gonna crease like it's not gonna 
give you Botox. It's not going to give you facial injections or none of that. So you can't have any crazy expectations when they say like crease proof or no creases. So wherever I have creases in my face, I did notice that the product did settle into. But other than that, it's not like super creasy. Like I didn't really notice much in my smile lines. That's the areas where I feel like I crease the most. But I didn't notice like substantial product settling into my smile lines if that makes sense so i can vouch for it in that area so in my room it's been hot and i feel like i have been sweating which is another reason why i feel like you know i've been kind of oily but other than that i can honestly say my first impressions of this foundation is that i'm honestly impressed i can see myself putting this in the regular rotation of foundations in my makeup routine so Y'all yeah, should be seeing her again soon, but I hope this video was helpful. I hope that it shows you guys, you know, if you have acne prone skin or you have textured skin, it shows you guys a review on this because looking at YouTube, I feel like a lot of reviews are on people who have like, you know, blessed skin where they can try a whole bunch of things and you know it'll work for them but i wanted to show you guys somebody who has dark spots somebody who has hyperpigmentation someone who has textured skin someone who got breakouts like what would it look like that's the tea that i was trying to give y'all so hopefully this video helps you out if you have skin similar to mine but that's all i have for today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up Drop a comment down below. Don't forget to, you know, check out some more videos. I'll put them here for you guys to see. I upload three times, well, four times a week, three times a week, and then a vlog. So four times a week. So y'all should just join because we're doing big things over here. But that's all I have for today's video. So until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Love you.